Hello everybody. Well, welcome to our session. Tonight's video is all about manifesting and I've got some stories about my own and I will be offering some tips um, for helping you if you're interested in that. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by lighting some sage. say that if it lights really well and in volume, we've got quite a bit of energy that we need to upgrade. imagine the smoke coming through to you landing on your skin to embrace the negative energy And as it dissipates, it takes with it that negative energy. Alright, doing my space as well. Gonna tamper this out. So now let's work with the candle. I dedicate this session to you to remove obstacles that might be standing in your way from receiving what you want. And if there's any other dedications that you would like to make, as long as it's for the highest and finest good of all, you can place it into the candle flame now. You can kind of see it. And I'm just taking this around. To assist in the cleansing with the fire element as well. And I'm going to blow the candle out and we'll watch the smoke. Hopefully we can see it in the camera. There we go. Yep. 
And as that goes up into the ethers, it calls for the highest and finest helpers to assist in this session. All right, I'm gonna fluff your aura a little bit so I can move into seeing what I'm working with. I don't know. I'm kind of dating myself by saying this, but I had some wonderful comments on the last few videos mentioning that, or asking how did I know that someone maybe had a migraine or someone um, had anxiety and I remember a show when I was a little girl. I think it was called Romper Room. And they would... The main person would hold up a mirror and say, I see Sandy. I see such and such. And you always hoped your name got called. But for some reason, it just reminded me of that. And I never know whose energy I could be reading. It's most likely multiple people. I know we all feel like we're the only ones who have pain in a certain area or we worry about certain things, but quite honestly, you are not alone. You are not alone in that, and you're not alone in your healing either. And just so, I just want to make sure that you understand that Reiki by proxy is, has an unlimited time to it. So just because this is coming out on the day it comes out doesn't mean that you can't watch it a year from now or watch it tomorrow or the next day or next month, 10 years from now. You can watch this at any time and it still works. You and I are in kind of like a bubble of time, but the energy isn't, and it can pass through that bubble, so to speak. And so, this is a time unlimited video. You will find it when it's for you. Okay. All right. I see a lot of pepper today, those peppery particles.
It's a lot warmer on the left side of the body. It might look to the right to you, but it's actually, I'm imagining you facing me. This is something weird that just popped into my mind, but weird things pop into my mind all the time. <laughs> but I haven't flown for a long time, so I don't know what's allowed and what's not, but does someone have a fear of flying? And maybe within the next six months, you're traveling. Is this something the audience would like me to work with? It could just be a fear, or it could be the fear of flying. Let me know in the comments, okay? All right. So I've got my oracle cards by Kyle Gray. I'm going to aim for pulling one, but who knows? More might jump out. Ooh, there's one. Oh. Okay. I just tend to get the same cards all the time. So I think we got this in one of the last videos. Um, it is Sirius Star Blessings. And it says, yes, proceed, be seen, push through. I'm actually going to pull another one. Feels like I needed to see that one. <laughs> okay, there's another one. All right, this is the Akashic Re Records. Clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and freedom. Hopefully you can see that it looks pretty bright in the screen that I'm looking at. So, But yes, that is part of what we're doing today as well. Um, not necessarily clearing past lives, but maybe we should do that. Um, Clearing old stories, doing the, you know, people don't like the, to hear the phrase shadow work. I'm looking for a new phrase, <laughs> maybe paradigm shift. Um, it's just belief systems and stories about yourself that have to change so that you can be able to manifest um, in your life whatever you want. So. Those are good cards. And I am going to use my selenite wand. Okay. Let's. Okay. And what I'm doing here is I am neutralizing energy and removing energy, but the neutralization helps me go in to pluck whatever isn't coming off with the sage and the 
selenite. Actually, not feeling much that's specific in the field. Pluck what needs to be plucked away, okay? Taking the candle around once again for cleansing. thinking about that card again. I can't believe I didn't think about it when I drew it. Um, but the Akashic Records, the clearing of the old stories, I actually have a course 
Um, I mentioned it, I think, in the last video, of course, um, that I am redoing. And I'm going to make the Patreon the container for it until it goes live publicly, basically. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that, and that would be starting at the $15. Um, mark so um, I will let you know when that's uploaded okay. I'll be uploading it um, session by session so okay so let me just go through once again make sure we got everything and I want to take this through again just to smooth everything out. Before we get started with the crystals, let's do a little um, spray for your energy field. And here I have rose quartz, clear quartz, and of course my moon water. very light scent of rose. Alright. So, if you want to, if you like the scent of, the scent of rose, you can go ahead and just take a nice deep breath in. And just placing that through your field. The rose essence vibration is one of the highest vibrations. So I like using that with you so that you can manifest even better. I'm going to start out because nothing is going to work very well if we don't have self-love. So if you want or think you need a video on self-love, I can put some links in the description. But I'm going to start just by moving this through your energy field as it is associated with self-love and just love in general. Okay. I want you to think about this for a second because I used to used to not really love myself. And then one day I thought, huh, do I not love myself or do I not love my life? What's been created? And I was surprised that it wasn't... It actually wasn't me that I hated. I just needed to look at my life and see how I wanted it to change and then do that. Of course, manifesting helps with that. <laughs> And I 
I've heard people say, well, how can I love myself? Nobody loves me. Maybe I'm unlovable. It's actually not true. It's not true. It is a belief system that you have made. Maybe somebody told you you were unlovable as a child and so then that was made by somebody else, but or helped out. But you don't have to retain that anymore because it's just not true. If somebody told you that, they were that was filtered through their trauma. Now I forget what I was my original intention was. <laughs> talk about that <laughs> um, it will come back to me sorry well actually the um, this would go well with with what I was saying is that one of the best ways to generate love really it's it's a chemical it's a it's an emotion you actually don't receive it you don't receive love um, in the way that you might be thinking you receive it when somebody does something nice for you or maybe they even say I love you a chemical goes off and that's what what you're feeling is as love and so there are other ways to get that chemical to move more into your life and that would be attractive to people who want to give you love and that would be if you have a pet paying more attention to your pet and loving your pet Plants. If you're a gardener or have the opportunity to be a gardener, it might actually change your life. going to put the names of the crystals on the screen if you want to know what they are and in the description this crystal is known for its manifestation qualities especially finances taking this through your field so that your field can say hey that's what that is wow <laughs> so now I wanted to talk to you about if you're struggling with money or anything like that I think now is the time for us to really get it and sink it in, okay? That if you've ever manifested for money because you needed to pay bills, because you needed this, you needed that, probably didn't work very well. And if it did, let me know in the comments, okay? <laughs> but, um, we need to learn the process of manifesting before going for the big stuff. So if you want a $100,000 home or more, or
or a big new car. It would be on the way to that to help you know how to process everything to help you get it quicker and better without all the darn frustration. And that's using manifestation to manifest for things that maybe you don't care about so much. That's how I learned. And it works phenomenally. I mean, you'll think it's magic if you really get the hang of it. So I'm just going to take this through your field and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I'll tell you what I mean. Um, in my area, you know, if you went to the grocery store or to the dentist or a doctor, it seemed like all the areas where basically you paid <laughs> um, had these flower pens. Somebody just got artistic and started making fabric in the flower and gluing it on the top of a pen if you needed to, to write with anything. Probably to write a check and who writes those anymore? <laughs> and um, and so I, for some reason that popped into my head to see if I could manifest you know, I didn't have to own it, but I wanted to see one, but it couldn't be, it couldn't be like what I saw in a store or the dentist office or a doctor's office. It couldn't be that fabric, fabric one. It had to be different. And so that made it really easy to let go, let it go to the universe to create that with me. Because the universe needs you to let it go. It's not going to come in the form that you think it will. Or from a place that you think it can only come from. But anyway, one day I went, went to um, a small town where it's known for its shopping and I went into a, I think it was a kind of like a kitchen trinket store and I didn't find anything but the owner of the store said, you know, we have this clearance table downstairs. You might be interested. I didn't even know they had it downstairs. So I was intrigued and I went down there. And I looked around and finally found the clearance section. And I looked around, didn't really see anything, but one thing did catch my eye and it was this. I thought, how cool would that be if it was a pen? And it was like two days later after I'd manifested for it, and it was a pen. Let me tell you, I almost fainted because I was just starting to learn. So, um, it can work. It can work, and it's not like you have to think of things to do to find it. It is not even knowing that I was listening to spirit to push me in the right direction, but just to be that open to it. And you have, and the way to get open to it is to let it go. And so because I didn't really care if I found a, a flower pen, um, I was able to receive it much easier. And there's other cool stories that I might tell you someday or I'm also getting ready to take them out to my Instagram <laughs> as well. So you can touch base with me there if you want.
And this stone is known for its prosperity influence. So we're just taking it through. one more I'm going to use. And this stone helps clear throat blockages. And we're often blocked in the throat chakra area when we are struggling with moving ahead, becoming better. Often get stuck because maybe we hold back our own voice. Maybe we struggled with being seen and heard. Beginning to get sleepy. And I'm not going to talk a lot anymore so that you can drift further down if you are using this for sleep. Everything's going to be okay. You're okay. I know we have such stressful times. It seems more stressful this year to me. But we're going to make it through. We always do. So just let go. Let go. Let 
your eyes close. Let yourself drift. Drift.